Robert to the guys in here, so stay with us. Santa Monica Beach, Rick, you know what? We're back in the hometown. We're down the street from my house where the aggressive skaters came out. Man, another big, big event coming at you. We had snake boarding in the house, so all the good guys in here, so stay with us. Man, this is going to be going off. What's up? Just kicking it. What's up, all you little kitties? I'm Brian Smith, along with A.J. Jackson. Here we are, stop number eight, the Powerade National Inline Skate Series, co-sponsored by Sony Walkman, Sony Auto Sound, and the new movie from MGM, Hackers. Here we are, Santa Monica Pier. A.J., a lot of good talent on the street course, a lot of good vert skaters. It's going to be an awesome competition. It's just getting better and better. It's getting better and better, B. I'm telling you, man, the competitions are just unbelievable, bro. You know, this is stop number eight in Santa Monica Beach, and, like, you know, a lot of pros came out, man. And a lot of amateurs came out, and uh, some of the big names, man. Uh, P. Harden, you know, B. Love. Oh, yeah. Hoax, too, man. Homeboy's coming out, and he's ripping it up fat, dude. Manuel Belair. Manuel Belair. Oh, dude, the Australians, Manuel Belair. Oh, check this out, bro. A lot of the Japanese bros came out, what, too, man. Was it nine man. or ten of them? Uh, like ten. Ten Japanese guys came oh. out. A uh, little roadhouse coming off of LBC. Competition's gonna be fat, man. I'm really looking forward to it. The street course at stop number eight here at Santa Monica Beach had a terrific blend of young and old talent, including some of the best young talent like Randy Spicer and Ernie Villarino. The National Inline Skate Series street course consists of long grind bars, launch ramps, fun boxes, death boxes, and quarter pipes for speed. These guys are judged on their style, creativity, their overall performance, and how they look when they're on the street course. Along with that half pipe, the first pipe is about 11 and a half feet tall, and they do all kinds of spin tricks, grabs, and man, I'll tell you what, this is going to be one of the best shows here, Rick. Each week, the skating's getting better, so stick around for aggressive skating on Prime. <laughs> in the semi-finals. Only four skaters left. We started with 16. Now there's four. Who's going to step up? Great matchup. Patrick Lennon against Matt Andrews. That's the one we're going to look at first. Two skaters from Northern California. Patrick Lennon out of Redwood drops in first. Patrick Lennon, a great skater, loves to launch. Goes huge. Cut 720 off the side of that huge launch ramp. He's starting off good. And we don't see a lot of skaters doing that trick off the side, Brian, but he nails a 720. There he is sitting up in that death box. Tries to go for far side soul, but doesn't hook on. That's going to hurt his run. He's got to make some good tricks. Got to stick your tricks to gain the points here on the street course. The judges want to see a stick to difficult trick. Here he comes back down, approaching the bower box. Heading up fakey and go soul half tap. Heading up on that bar box. On the death rail goes oh front side the drop misery. That's a nice technical trick. And he pulls it off pretty smooth. He's on the road now. Style, creativity, difficulty, and the overall look. That's what the judges look for on the Nist tour. There he is nailing that far side soul. He got it. He went once, missed it, and got it back again. There he goes over soul. Rewind off. Now he's kicking butt. Patrick Lennon trying to get to the finals so he gets automatically qualified for the championships in Venice Beach. Will he get there? Matt Andrews, his opponent. He's coming up next. 
this is going to be an interesting matchup. Both of these guys are young skaters, not a lot of experience. But they come out and they rip this course up. Taking a look back here at that huge 720 stale Japan. Almost perfect. Just put one knee down. Matt Andrews dropping in now is a great skater. He's very smooth. Doing a double grab. Already starting off with difficult tricks. Heading up on that death box. Going front side to drop sole. Just as nice as I've ever seen anyone do it. And the pressure's on Matt Andrews because he saw Patrick Lennon had a very strong run. He knows he's going to need at least in the high 80s to take this round. So far, he's been flawless hitting every trick, and he's also doing difficult tricks. There he is going solo to the front side. Man, he's just really ripping this course up. Matt Andrews, nobody has heard about him since he joined the tour, unsponsored as he comes back down the street court. There he is doing a nice grab again, heading up on that death box. Fakie to front side. He's having a great run. That was switch stance, very difficult. He's just got to keep his composure and stand and his feet to move ahead. With about five seconds left on the FSL timer, Matt continues to hit the tricks. He really didn't pass any ramps and stuck a lot of difficult tricks, Brian. His score should be pretty good. Taking a look here at that huge stale grab, he really had a great run. He stayed on his feet, he did all the difficult tricks, and that's what's going to get you to the finals and win the contest. There we are, taking a look here. Patrick and Matthew, difficulty, style, creativity. He takes all of them overall. That puts him ahead 88 to 83. What a great matchup. Really excited about watching these guys. So Matt Andrews is our first final skater. He automatically gets qualified for the championships in Venice Beach. He's stoked. Corey Roberts out of Walnut Creek, California, trying to get there as well. Corey Roberts taking up and a little bobble on that launch. Didn't grab it as long as he would have. It would have looked a lot nicer, but it was still a nice grab. Setting up now. Heading on that death box. Lots of speed. Going far side solo, that was very nice. He just stabbed his foot right on that rail. That's what the judges like to see, confidence. And this is the part of the day where a good skater separates himself from a mediocre skater. They get a little tired during the final four. You already had two runs, and you have to push it hard to move ahead to the final. Wow, he is having a great run. Half cap to soul. A great mizu over the bower box. He's having a really good, consistent run. He's just got to keep this up. He's putting a lot of pressure on Kanowski. But he has half the time left, so he still has a good 20 seconds. What will he do with the rest of this time? Oh, and that's going to hurt him. He tried to go far side sole on the bower box and fell down to his knees. He should have just did a regular sole and stayed on his feet. 10 seconds left. A little front side on the low rail. With about five seconds left, Brian, he needs one more difficult trick here. Let's see what he's got. He's going for that death box, and he goes up. Nice soul. Comes off a little bit early. Not a bad run. He had a lot of good tricks in there, difficult tricks. He had one fall. That's going to hurt him. Brian is going to have to stand his feet and pull out all the tricks to beat him. I'll tell you that. Taking a look back here at that launch. A little bit bobble, grabs his knee. I don't know what that was, but he finished off with a nice Three, nail Japan grab. Two, Ryan Kanowski getting ready to drop in. Yeah. Mr. Okay, Consistency, he hardly ever falls, and he has all the tricks. And he goes a nice high mute. I think he's just going to play it safe and do a nice, beautiful, clean run like he always does. Ryan Kanowski with some speed, launches to the death rail. Very strong move. That was really nice. Launch the backside. Coming with a fast slide. That's one leg down the bower box. Very difficult. And he's charging. So far, Brian Kanowski already has done three difficult tricks and has nailed the ball. Make that four. He's really having a good run, Rick. It's going to be really hard for him to get beat if he stays in this pace. This is where Corey Roberts kind of fell off with about 20 seconds left in his run, but Brian Kanowski continues to skate strong here on the street course in Santa Monica. Yeah, he's just got to wrap it up around here and just stay on his feet. Play it safe, play it smart, and he'll be in the finals. Heading for the last trick on the launch ramp. Oh, he has a nice new grab and tweaks it out. And that's going to be time. Brian Kanowski with a solid, perfect run. And I think you can see the difference, Brian, with about 20 seconds left. Brian Kanowski continued to skate hard and strong and snick his trick where Corey Roberts fell off a little bit. You can see how beautiful his style is when he grabs that new grab. I think he's going to be very happy. And it looks by the crowd. I think he's got it, Rick. And the scores are in. It's Brian by one in style. He takes him by four in difficulty, one in creativity, three overall. And he is the winner, 92 to 83. Matt Andrews and Brian Kanowski.
skating for the championship. Oh, yeah. There's Mike Connington, a little excited. His Senate boy is going to the finals. It's going to be a great matchup. You never know who's going to take it. They're both great skaters. We are ready for the finals on the street court. Matt Andrews has climbed his way through some terrific competitors, including Daryl Hardin and Andy Cruz. Now he's going against Brian Kanowski, who defeated some good opponents as well in Ernie Villarino and Randy Spicer. Here comes Matt Andrews launching first. Matt Andrews grabbing a method launch first, heading up on the death box. Going front side. Oh my god, he goes down bacon. He was doing a front side to drop soul. Oh no, actually drop Mizu, excuse me. And um he went bacon in the pan. That is going to hurt his run. Going half cap. The front side comes off early. He seems a little shaken up. This is where the lack of experience is going to take a toll on your run. Oh. There he goes, backside switch stance. Also, the legs seem a little wiry. Brian, as he drops back in, still a lot of time on the FSL timer. That's right. After you compete about four or five times, you really get tired. There goes switch stance so heading up fakey. The front side again, that switch. Now that's the kind of tricks you need to do and not fall, but he looks a little tired. I think you're right. Hasn't stuck as many tricks as we saw him do in the final four. Matt Andrews now in the finals, not having the best effort, but he has enough tricks to get his score maybe in the 80s. That's going to be time. Matt Andrews out of Carmichael, California. He's just got to be proud that he is in the finals. It is against Brian Kanowski, a guy that he reads about maybe for the last couple of years in the magazine. Yeah, Brian Kanowski's got a lot more experience. He's going to come out and, it's you know, all he has to do is stay on his feet. Matt fell a couple times. He looked a little tired, but hey, he's really happy. He's going to the finals either way, so I think he's just relaxing. And, you know, this is see what happens. So let's check out Brian's run and see uh, how he does. Here he is getting ready to drop in. Brian Kanowski with a lot of speed going to that launch ramp. A nice, beautiful mute again. Lands on the transition. That's what the judges are looking for. Brian Kanowski, BK, staying consistent on the street course here at stop number eight. Oh, my God, huge. Launch the backside, going for the ball box with lots of speed and goes down backslide. Wow, he's having a great run. He's not holding back. He's going for the gusto. Brian Kanowski warmed up. He's already competed in three competitions. This is his third, and this is the best he has skated. Another clean backside. Yeah, he's just really, really keeping his composure and having a great run. If he keeps this up, he's got himself a championship. Oh! Not to mention the guys at Anywhere Sports told him if he takes first place, they get him a limo to the championship. He's thinking class all the way with a very classy run. Brian Kanowski turns it back up the street course, and I think there was enough tricks in the bag to take this championship. I wouldn't count your chicken silver hatch. He fell twice. That's going to hurt him. Wow, it's going to be pretty close, although I think you're right. He does have the edge. There is everyone congratulating him. Both these skaters came out and did an awesome job. I had a lot of fun watching them. I can't wait to see who takes this one. Brian Kanowski getting a lot of support from his friends that are here in Southern California. Looking back at the huge launch, that's how you do it. Pulling back method. And the scores are in. It's a tie-in style. They tie in difficulty. They tie in creativity. Overall, Brian Kanowski takes it. Here we are in Santa Monica Pier on the street course with our champion, Brian Kanowski, and second place, Matt Andrews. Matt, you had an awesome run. You got 250. You're going to the finals. How do you feel? I feel good. It was fun. Just had fun. He's really excited. You should have saw him before. He was doing cartwheels and stuff. BK, Brian Kanowski. You never figured this was going to happen, I bet. Nope. It was fun though, I just skated my heart out and it was great, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, I knew what I had to do was just, like, just skate fast and clean and big and then that's what worked, so I'm so. Fast, clean and big, here we are, Prime Sports Network, the street champion, Brian Kanowski, it's all good.
look at the jam-packed parking lot here in Santa Monica Beach. We are ready for the first semifinals. Our female skater is Natasha Hoskins. She's as good as the men, Brian. She's dropping in. She's setting up. Yeah, she really rips it up. She's so aggressive on the half pipe. There she is, grabbing Mute, grabbing Scale Japan, setting up for another trick here. Oh, and going for the Soul Stall, but steps up on top of the ramp. That wasn't good. 45 seconds in the half pipe. Natasha working it like a pro. There she is, going 360s. Coming back around. Come on, Natasha. Tapping that toe. Here she is, setting up again. Time winding down. Goes up, coming in faking now. Oh, there you go. Oh, and she goes baking in the pan. She's happy, though. She's smiling. She looks a little tired. That's going to do it for her. And that's Natasha. That's time. And she'll be very excited as she went all the way to the final four. Looking back at this move, Brian. Yeah, it's so nice to see all the women coming out and skating just as good as the men. And Natasha does it just as good as anyone. She's so aggressive, everyone respects her. Now, this boy, Manuel Bolaris, out of Melbourne, Australia, is just incredible. Setting up nice high mute, tweaking it back method. Oh, this guy is just so fun to watch, Rick. Manuel Bolaris, only 18 years old, could be the best in the land on the half pipe. He certainly is is showing that here today and there is showing some of his spin tricks there's a nice lofty 540 coming back with an invert going up with some nice coping stall tricks doing it with a lot of style this guy is very smooth in everything that he does and a soul grind a long soul grind on the coping that's very nice Manuel Bolaris doing all the tricks the judges want to see, the inverted tricks, the big airs, the spin tricks, as he runs out of time, another flawless run by Manuel Bolaris. Manuel looking a little tired, but wow, can he skate his fight. Hips it up, taking a look back here, there he is going mute, you'll notice how high he's going, he's going twice as high as all these other skaters, and this spin is just great, there he is grabbing mute on a big 540, finishing it way above coping, and there's some nice style. So we got Natasha losing in style, Natasha losing in difficulty, creativity, and overall. But what a good run. Natasha gets a lot of props. Manuel comes out on top. But what a good matchup we had. Our next matchup, Eric Burke going against Ichi, the Rocket Kamore. Woo, Rick, what do you say about that? Eric Burke is only 16 years old out of Reno, Nevada. Works out on the half pipe in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Works out at Donna and Alan Bono's house. They taught him how to skate the half pipe and his expertise shows. There he is getting caught up on the coping, going back in the pan. That's not good. You gotta waste a lot of time trying to climb back up and getting back into your groove. You're right, Brian, but he has 25 seconds left. He still has chances here to go big. There he is doing some nice variations on the coping. Going over so sporting that Hawaiian shirt. You sure he's not from Hawaii? You wouldn't know it by the shirt, but he's ripping up the half pipe like a pro. There he is starting to get some air now, setting up. Oh, God! And a beautiful mid twist. Coming back with a nice 540. Wow, he saves it up to the end, but then he goes big. Only two. Two huge errors, but he needed more than that, I think. Yeah, he fell a little bit, but he came through with a couple difficult tricks. A perfect mix twist. Oh, coming in fakey. That is just so nice. And there he is with a nice 540 grabbing. Wow, he should have started off like that. The Rocket, Ichikomori out of Osaka, Japan, has the experience. He competed all last year on the NIST tour. Starting off with some big air. Oh, there he is doing that rocket. That's what he's famous for. Ichi does go very, very big. And he's got the coping trick. There's a nice oversole. I love watching this guy skate all the way from Japan. Yeah, Ichi's one of the exciting skaters on the tour. Real fun to watch. He's got the big flips and the big air. Makes it just a treat every time he takes the half fight. Oh, there he goes with a fakie rocket. This guy's got so much style. See how composed he is up there? That's why I love these skaters from Japan. They're so precise. Ichi Kimori with about five seconds left on the FSL timer. This is where he usually likes to do that big flip. He's running at a time, and he's not going to get it in. Ichi, the Rocket Kimori, a little late. That will not count. And Ichi's run is ended. It's going to be really close, Brian. It's up to the judges to decide who's going to the finals against Manuel Valeris. That's right, we're going to check it out. Ichi is a great skater. I don't know, though. Taking a look here, 
setting up way high over that coping head high yeah, airs yeah, coming around and there it is kicking it out rocket ichi kamori just showing all that <laughs> flavor eric burt blows him out in style takes it by two points of difficult they tie in creativity ichi takes it overall but eric burke advances to the finals 86 81 oh brian eric burke squeaks by it looked like ichi had a pretty strong run but can he get by manuel valeris one of the best bird skaters on planet earth and we are ready eric burke at reno nevada and manuel valeris out of milbert australia you can't miss eric burke he's wearing that hawaiian shirt he drops in first we're not mute it's going to take more than a loud shirt to beat manny but here he is coming in now he's doing some huge airs there he is grabbing scale japan nice rocket wow now he's just turning up the volume putting some pressure and there it is that big quiz coming in big he's beautiful with a nice 540 puts his hand down with the bobble but he's having a great run right there brian you saw the bobble slowed him down a little bit but now he's making a nice circular motion on the half line. Oh, he takes up the head still. There he is, catching those feet up on the coping again. I don't know if he's got big feet or he's just tired, but the coping just grabs him. He goes bacon. It's going to be hard to beat Manuel Valeris now. But he's still doing a great job and he's going to Venice. He's got to be happy. Yeah, with three seconds left, another bobble, and that is going to be time. Eric Burke slides down on one knee all the way to the finals against Manuel Valeris. With a very strong right. effort, a couple spills, that might be the difference. But right. you know when Manuel Bolaris takes the right. halfpipe, Brian, you need almost a flawless performance okay. to beat him. That's right, Manuel Bolaris wrecks in effect. Taking a look here at that huge MIG twist coming in fake. He does that just as nice as anyone in the world. He started out so strong. If he had to fall in, Manuel would be sweating in his boots. Manuel Bolaris up next, and Brian Smith had a chance to talk to him. I don't mind coming out at all, just coming out and hanging out with all my friends and having a skate, so I think just see if I can see how well I can go during the day. Fairly tired, but I'll just see what happens, basically. Hey, well, good luck, man. You look good. Spinning. Thanks. Manuel Belaris. Manuel Belaris dropping in. He goes big right off the bat. There he is, setting up with a huge head-eye mute. Coming back, a nice mute. Setting up big. Here we go. Manny grabbing back, huge method, opening it up for the crowd. There he is, spinning. Oh, and a 720 coming in fake. This guy is a master at spinning, Rick. Oh, that's an amazing 720 spin trick. One of the best spinning Burke skaters around. Manuel Valeris keeps ripping it up with 20 seconds left on the FSL timer. He just needs to bust out a few more tricks, Brian, for this championship. There you go, Sam utilizing the coping. He does all the airs and all the coping tricks and inverts so that he covers all bases. That's what the judges like to see. And he does it better than anyone. Look at him out here, just going off. Time running down on the FSL timer, and that is time. Manuel Valeris, I think he's taking the championship here. Here goes Manuel showing some of his clown activities. He's a snappy dresser, good looking. He's a great skater. We love him here at the NIST tour. Manuel Belaris carved up the half pipe. I think he carved himself a championship here at Santa Monica Beach. Brian Smith, take us through this run. Huge airs, everything you need from a great bird skater. Manuel just showing how high he can get. And there he is, tweaking it way back. No one does it better than Manuel. Check out this spin, Rick. One, two. And comes in fakey like he does it every day. This guy is truly amazing. And there he is going nice soul grinds. And here it is, Rick, the final score. Style, three points go to Manuel. Difficulty to Manuel. Creativity to Manuel. Overall to Manuel. 104. He breaks the 100 barrier. He blows out Eric Burke. He's our champ. That about wraps it up. Just one more time. Stop number eight. A successful event. Just one more time. Santa Monica. Four great skaters are going to go to the finals in Venice next week. We're going to see you at Pier Fest, Huntington Beach. So you stay here on Prime Sports and check me out next week when we just yet had sent four more people to Venice for the finals. Each week, Brian Smith and myself give out the Power 8 Power Blast, and this one goes to Ichi, the Rocket Tamori. Now you know where he got the name Rocket, kicking it out way over the cameraman's head. Pow, bam, splat, boom, bing. The Crash Derby coming up next.
Powerade National Inline Skate Series is owned and operated by Anywhere Sports Productions in Los Angeles. And a special thanks to the City of Santa Monica and the Santa Monica Police Department.